Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhyphenautomation.com. Today in this video, I will talk about how you can run your test in headless mode in Sentinel. So, first of all, let's start with the application. 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 Let's start
created one options class object we have added the argument but in order to make this as an effect we need to simply pass here right while invoking the browser so now here if you just type chrome you can see we have one property called chrome options which will simply ask you give me the options class object so i will simply pass this opt which we have created that's all so add one argument hyphen hyphen headless guys it's case sensitive so make sure you type exactly the same and this is also a predefined property you just need to pass this object and this time when you run you will see test will run in the headless mode definitely you will not be able to see anything but yes you will get the result okay you can see nothing opened in the ui so in case if you want to cross check like something worked actually right so in our previous lectures we have discussed right how to capture the screenshot so let's do one thing let's capture the screenshot so that you will understand okay let me import this utility as well let me import this os module as well so it will run in the headless mode it will type and then it will immediately capture the screenshot so that you can see how the tests are running so just to be on the safer side let me remove all the previous screenshots so that you should not get confused and let's run once again okay so you can see this red symbol test is still running not executed and you can see now we got the screenshot the moment you double click now we got the screenshot it means tests are running in the background and good thing about headless mode with chrome that we are able to capture screenshot even in the headless mode okay so in case something went wrong you still have the screenshots with you and you can easily debug right now uh, just one more part i want to show here that right now we have added one argument right let's say you are someone who generally make spelling mistakes or sometimes it's hard to remember these you know arguments so now we also have one more options here that you can just type opt dot you can see we have a property called headless so what you need to make so by default it is set to false so you can simply change it to true so in that case you don't need to do that so there's no chances of spelling mistake you just need to say opt dot headless equal to true and we're good to go rest everything will remain same okay so in case if you want to just cross check once again let's do that just notice we have one screenshot let me run once again and you will get one more screenshot here okay let it run in the background and here we go we got another screenshot just after two minutes and screenshot is same because we haven't changed anything from this side it is just instead of using add argument method we are calling headless equal to true yeah so that's a very quick video but yeah very helpful even when you start giving interviews this is a famous question that how do you run the test in the background mode how do you run the test into headless mode what are the challenges how do we capture screenshots everything okay so very important for real time and for interviews as well that's all for this video guys so in case if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe hit the like button share with your friends in case if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye